And I had my agent on the phone to me a couple of times and I had to move to, to Holland and it was a good time six months out from the World Cup and he said, you know, the new boss is looking at you, um, so just keep grinding away and doing your thing. And I, you know, it gave me a massive confidence boost and then bam, 70 minutes in the first game, landed on a sprinkler and uh, yeah, kneecaps blown in half. So, you know, it was devastating. Um, it hurt watching boys go to the World Cup that I knew that I was probably ahead of at the time. The, I didn't watch any of the games at the World Cup. It was too hard, but at the same time, I thought to myself, you know, use this time wisely now. Get yourself in the gym, try and beef up, do the little extras that you can, and then you know you're in contention because the coach has already said that. So after the World Cup, there could be another chance of uh, getting back in that squad. I'd have to say it was my girlfriend, now my wife, um, Alyssa. If I didn't have her, um, yeah, I'd probably back a league, state league, something like that, because I was really in a bad way, googling all sorts of jobs to, to take up, um, looking at TAFE and uni and all that sort of stuff, and it really opened my eyes to, you know, football's a short career. Um, but yeah, if I didn't have her, it would be a lot more difficult process of getting back to being a professional footballer than uh, if I didn't have her. After the heartbreak I had with the World Cup, and then uh, got the the call up from Ange and I didn't think I was even going to play. I thought I was just in there to get a bit of experience and said you're starting against Belgium and yeah, it was an exciting time putting on the jersey and I remember all the boys sort of like giving me advice and it would go in one ear and out the other and sweating buckets before the game had even started and after the game I just remember smiling ear to ear and uh, just looking around and saying yeah this is this is me for the next 10 years. This is this is good. I like this spot so that was a, it was a beautiful moment and that's one I'm going to cherish. You know, we've, we've started this journey four years ago. We're together as a team. Uh, we've grown together. You know, we've seen boys get married, have kids. Um, we've seen a lot of boys go through ups and downs in their careers and you know, it sort of brings you closer together every time you're in a camp. You're, it's, hey man, how you going? How's life? How's, how's the family? Like you're meeting your cousins again at the family barbecue and you do it three times a year. And, it's, uh, it's great seeing the boys and I think everyone in the back of their mind knows it's such a great opportunity to go to a World Cup because not many people get to do it and having missed out on the last one, you know, this qualifying campaign was huge for me and you know, I want to be there in Russia, I want to give it all, I want to give it everything I've got, I want to you know, walk away satisfied and then uh, you know, prepare for the next one.